we meet again okay in the same chapter atoms molecules and stoichiometry in part two okay isotope what is isotopes so isotope is uh, Atoms of the same element with same number of protons but different number of neutron. Okay. So, apa yang penting sekarang, uh, dia punya keyword untuk isotope ialah. Okay. Uh, same element. Number of protons, okay. Different number of neutron, okay. Ah, uh, ni, okay. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with same number of proton, but different number of neutron, okay. Atom dekat sini mesti ada s, okay. Mesti ada s untuk menunjukkan dia lebih daripada satu atom. Okay, contoh yang saya ada di sini ialah protium, deuterium and tritium. Okay, ini adalah contoh isotop untuk hydrogen. Okay, as you can see, the number of protons are same but different number of neutrons. Okay, untuk buat definition, okay, you can use a number of protons or you can write down proton number. Okay. But, uh, untuk neutron, okay, you must write number of neutrons. Okay, kalau you tulis uh, neutron number, salah. Okay, sebab apa yang betul ialah, sorry, this one. Nucleon number. Okay. Okay, nucleon number betul. Kalau tulis neutron number, salah. Okay. Tapi untuk proton, you can use both. Proton number or number of protons. Okay. Apa perkara yang sama, okay, the same properties untuk isotopes. Okay, their chemical properties, the proton number, number of electrons in a neutral atom and electronic configuration. Okay, but the difference are physical properties, rate of diffusion, number of neutrons in the nucleus, and mass and density okay ini antara persamaan dan perbezaan untuk isotop okay stable isotopes the nuclear or stable isotope will not disintegrate spontaneously for example we have uh, chlorine isotope of chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 another one is bromine bromine 79 and bromine 81 okay ini adalah stable isotope okay next we have unstable isotopes Known as radioactive isotopes. Okay, this isotope will disintegrate spontaneously to form smaller atoms or daughter nuclei by emitting alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Okay, kita tengok one by one. Okay, first is alpha particles. Consists of two protons and two neutrons represented by the symbol 4, 2, helium. Okay, H, E, helium. Okay, ha, jadi untuk alpha particle, kita menggunakan helium sebab dia ada two protons and two neutrons. Okay, second one, we have beta particles. Emitted from nucleus when a neutron splits up to form a proton and an electron. Okay. Jadi, ini untuk beta 
particles. And the last one we have gamma ra radiation. An electromagnetic radiation of high frequency. Example, write nuclear equation for the following process. Alpha decay of uranium-235. Okay, first we write down this equation. Okay, dia dah bagi tahu dia adalah alpha decay. So, kita gunakan helium. Okay, for to helium. Okay, kemudian kita buat... Uh, AZX ok, sebab kita tak tahu dia punya produk ok, so we calculate ok, the proton number and nuclear number at the both side, ok at the left side ok, left hand side, we have proton number 92 at the right side, we have 94 Z ok, nuclear number 235 so we calculate the number of uh, the nuclear number of x okay so we get 231 so daripada uh, nilai a dan z yang kita dapat kita tengok dalam predictable okay elemen apa yang mempunyai proton number equal to 90 so the proton number 90 is thorium okay So, kita buat dia punya chemical equation. So, this one we call nuclear equation. Okay, next. Thorium-231 decays to form protactinium. Okay, yang ni dia dah bagi uh, reactant dan produk. Okay, cuma dia tak bagi tahu sama ada dia adalah alpha decay or beta decay. So, awak kena cari lah. Okay, masih lagi guna cara yang sama. Kita buat chemical equation dengan uh, unknown sini. Okay, X, E, Z. Okay, kita kirakan dia punya proton number and nuclear number at the both side. So, Z we get negative 1. A equal to 0. Therefore, this is beta decay ok so write down the nuclear equation ok next 28 S silicon and 30 silicon are two isotopes of silicon ok the relative atomic mass of silicon is 281 Which statement is true about these isotopes? Okay. So, for this question, the answer is C. 28 silicon is more abundant than 30 silicon. Okay, next. STPM 2016 Iodine 123 is used in brain imaging and iodine 131 is used in detecting the activity of thyroid. Both isotopes. Okay, the answer is C. React with aqueous solution of Ki potassium iodide. Okay, that's all. Uh, we already finished in part 2. Okay, we learn about the isotopes. And then we continue in part 3. Bye!